The linked hash map is a special type of map in Java that combines the efficiency of a hash map with the ordered behavior of a linked list. It implements the map interface and it extends the hash map class. Unlike the hash map, the linked hash map efficiently maintains the insertion order of key value pairs. Elements are iterated through the same order they were added. Internally, a doubly linked list is used to maintain the order of elements. This has a slightly lower performance compared to the hash map due to the technical overhead. Okay, let's take a look at some code. And don't worry about the code. I've uploaded the entire example to GitHub so that you can take a look, download it and create your own test cases with it. Links are in the video description below. All right, let's start by creating a new linked hash map instance, which we save in a variable words of type linked hash map, having strings as keys and integers values. Now let's add words. For that, let's make use of the linked hash map put method. Let's add the word we with a value of one, the word of with a value of two, the word that with a value of three, the word these with a value of two, and the word the with a value of two. Now let's take a look at how to get words. In our case, we want to provide the word and get the integer. For this, we make use of the get method, providing of and saving the result in a variable word of, of type integer. And now let's print that to the terminal. Word count for of and the value of word of. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So let's build and run the application. And here we can see that the value for the key of is two. Now let's take a look at what it looks like if we try to get a value for a key that does not exist. So let's try get r and put the result in word r of type integer. Let's again print the result, word count for r and the value of word r. Let's quickly build and run the application. And there we see if we try to ask for a key that does not exist, we get null for a value. Now let's test the presence of words. For this, we make use of the contains key method. Words contains key of. If this is true, we output the text to the terminal. Word of exists. And if this is false, we output word of does not exist. Let's also test the same thing for the word r. If it is true, word r exists. If it is not true, word r does not exist. Let's see what this looks in action. Let's build and run the application. And here we can see word of exists, word r does not exist. Now let's take a look at how to remove words. Let's count the words before the removal using the size method. Then let's remove the word of using the remove method. And then let's again print the number of words after removal, again using the size method. Let's take a look at what this looks like by running the application. And there we can see, first we have the number of words before removal, which is five. Then we remove the word off, and then we count again, printing the result number of words after removal, four. Now let's take a look at how to list words. First we print out a text list of words key value, and then we make use of the for loop by getting the entry set of the linked hash map. And in every iteration, we get one word of the type map entry, which has string as a key and integer as a value. So let's print every iteration with its key and with its value. Now let's build and run the application. And here we can see the list of words in the key value format. We one, that three, these two, the two. Now let's take a look at the order between the linked hash map and the hash map. So let's create a new hash map instance and a linked hash map instance, both taking key value pairs with string keys and integer values. Let's add the same five values to the hash map that we had before. And let's do the same thing with the linked hash map. And now let's print the entire hash map, printing the key and the value. And let's do the exact same thing with the linked hash map, also printing the key and the value. Let's take a look at what this looks like when running the application. Let's build and run the application. And here we can see the two outputs, once for the hash map and once for the linked hash map. But if we check the output a bit closer, we can see that the order is not maintained within the hash map. We first added we, still in the output we have these. Then we added off and in the output the second position is D. While when we check the linked hash map, we can see that we still have the same order. We, of, that, these and the. Okay, to sum up, we created a linked hash map and inserted some key value pairs. We then used the get method to get values. And then we checked for existing words as well as for non-existing words. 
We then removed single elements and then created an output for every element using a loop. Last but not least, we compared the order of elements between a hash map and a linked hash map. Very good. That's it for the short introduction to the Java linked hash map. Did you like the format of this video? Like the video and subscribe for more. There will be many more videos with topics just like this one and you get notified for them. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.